Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the effect of temperature on the PN junction diode. In the last class, we discussed about the VA characteristics of PN junction diode. Now, for the diode, if we increase the temperature, so how the diode will behave? Now, let's see. So, if you see the characteristics here, so these are the characteristics we will get. Now, let's see uh, about the characteristics one by one here. So, this is the uh, VA characteristics of the PN junction diode. So, this is the forward current. Sorry, it is a forward voltage. So, on the x-axis, we will take the voltage. Okay, it is a forward voltage. Okay, it is a forward voltage. It is in the volts. And it is called as reverse voltage. Okay, minus VR. And it is a forward current. Forward current. The range of the forward current is in milliamps. And it is a reverse current. IR. The range is in microamps. Okay, it is a negative value, so we will get. Okay, here, if you see the forward bias, okay, normal PN junction diode at 27 degrees Celsius for the silicon diode. Okay, we will get the, uh, the diode starts conducting from this. Okay, so now if we increase the temperature from 27 degrees Celsius to 227 degrees Celsius, the diode starts conducting from the this point okay so from this we can say that if the temperature increases the cut-in voltage is decreases okay the cut-in voltage decreases as the temperature increases so before at 27 degrees celsius the diode is starting from this position okay if we increase the temperature the diode is starting before 0 0.7 only if we take the silicon diode the cut-in voltage is 0 0.7 volts if we increase the temperature from 27 degrees celsius to 227 degrees celsius the diode starts conducting before 0 0.7 only so now it starts before it was at 27 degrees celsius it is starting from this point if we increase the temperature it is starting from this point so from this we can say that clearly the cut-in voltage decreases as the temperature increases so the cutting voltage is decreased from here to here and if you see the forward bias characteristics here so these are the forward bias characteristics okay in the forward bias characteristics for the same forward voltage okay for the same vf the forward current is more at higher temperature if you take the forward voltage here so at this point these two forward voltages so are same for this 27 degrees celsius and the 227 uh, degrees celsius this point is a common forward voltage point here so at this point for the 27 degrees celsius the current if1 is less and for the same forward voltage vf at 227 degrees celsius the forward current is more here from this we can say that for the same vf Okay, for the same VF, the forward current is more at higher temperature. So, these are the differences we will get in the forward bias if we increase the temperature from 27 degrees Celsius to 227 degrees Celsius. Now, if you see the reverse bias characteristics, in the reverse bias characteristic, this is the normal PN junction reverse bias characteristics at 27 degrees Celsius. Now, if we increase the temperature from 27 degrees Celsius to 227 degrees Celsius, what will happen? The breakdown voltage increases as the temperature increases. See here, before the breakdown voltage is up to here only at 27 degrees Celsius. If we increase the temperature, the breakdown voltage is increased from here to here. At 227 degrees Celsius, the breakdown voltage is increases from here to here. This we can see the difference if we increase the temperature. Now, from this we can say that reverse current increases as the temperature increases. If you see the reverse current here, at normal 27 degrees Celsius here. So, this is the temperature, this is the current here. At this temperature, this current is less compared to this current. So, from this we can say that if we increase the temperature, Okay, if we increase the temperature, the reverse current is also increases. This is the current at 27 degrees Celsius. This is the current at 227 degrees Celsius. If we increase the temperature, the reverse current is also increases. 
okay so these are the differences we will get if we increase the temperature from 27 degree celsius to 227 degree celsius okay now let's see what are the overall characteristics we are getting if we increase the temperature the temperature has the following effects on the diode so what is the first effect uh, what is the first effect the cutting voltage decreases as the temperature increases. This we observed in the VA characteristic. First observation, this is the cutting voltage is decreased as the temperature increases. And the diode conducts at smaller cutting voltages at larger temperature. Okay. Now, if you see the reverse bias uh, characteristics here, the reverse saturation current increases as the temperature increases. The reverse current is increasing if you increase the temperature. Now, this increasing the reverse current is such that it, it doubles at every 10 degree rising temperature. Okay, this increasing the reverse current is such that it doubles the uh, current, reverse current at every 10 degree rising temperature. Mathematically, if you see the formula here, this is a, uh, this much increasing the reverse current. I02 is equal to 2 power T2 minus T1 by 10 into I01. Okay, this we can also write that is equal to 2 power this T2 minus T1, we can write it as delta T. Okay, change in T here by 10 into I01. Here, I01 is called as the reverse saturation current at T1 it is. Okay, and I02 is reverse saturation current at T1. So, here it is I02. I02 is called as a reverse saturation current at temperature T2. And I01 is called as a reverse saturation current at T1. Okay, so these are the effects we will get if we increase the temperature from 27 degrees Celsius to 227 degree celsius okay 27 degree celsius at t1 and 227 degree celsius at t2 okay so now this is about the effect of temperature on the diode okay thank you everyone in the next class we will see what is ideal diode and the what is practical